so Simon's here from Biffy Clyro. Did you go to many gigs when you were living around here, growing up? Yeah, here? yeah. Where, did you get good bands? Uh, well, not down in Ayrshire. No, not many bands came through here. But you know, we're only about an hour away from Glasgow, like where I live in Ayr. So we would. Uh, Always got to see as many bands as possible. We saw some amazing so shows. Early, back early gigs. Who you've seen? Uh, one of the first ones I saw Metallica at the SEC. We saw Rage Against the Machine back in the day. Wow. We saw Green Day at the Barrowlands in like '93 or something. And uh, what else? What else? Did we see Helmet, like? Rancid, Rancid, Helmet, Curb Dog, <laughs> Sebado, Biohazard. Oh lots. No, this is all evening session days. All those bands yeah, that absolutely. you're mentioning now remind me of that. <laughs> and Steve Lamac. And um, right, tattoos. Let's talk about tattoos because you have quite a few tattoos. Yes, yes, Are I'm you the only one, or have the others got any tattoos? No, at everyone's all? everyone's got a few. Oh, okay, yeah. But, um, yeah, I'm, they're all I'm all the, the, but I'm you're the, you're the tattooed man. Yeah. Okay, what is it about tattoos then that you love? I don't know. I think. Uh, you know, everyone, like everyone else, when I got my first one, I was kind of slightly scared and terrified, and it, is, it does hurt a bit. It actually gets w sore the more tattoos you get, but the exhilaration you get once uh, once it's done, you know, is phenomenal. Your adrenaline's pumping, and you're just immediately thinking about what you're wanting next. Okay. So, uh, yeah. And how uh, old were you when you had your first one? Uh, believe it or not, it was 21. I didn't start that early, so I, I got, uh, my wife got me a tattoo for my 21st birthday, and since then, and now it's Which one was that? Mission. Because we're uh, filming this at the moment, so one in the bottom of my back. Okay, is one at the bottom. Okay, yeah. and that's so that's a red one. What is that? What does that symbolise? Uh, well, that was just actually from a, an artwork of a record by a band called per A Perfect Circle that I liked oh, at yeah, the time. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm not such a huge fan of that band now, but I love the tattoo. <laughs> no, but you got the tattoo. I know. Yeah, but the tattoo means more to me than that. So. <laughs> okay. How many tattoos have you got? Uh, probably too many to count. Probably about thirty or something. Okay, all right. Um, can you take your shirt off so that we can actually see? Sure. <laughs> I know it doesn't take very much to get you to take your shirt off. Because <laughs> the film will be online a little bit later on. Talk yeah, us through some of the tattoos um, that you have here. On your left shoulder then, we're going down. On my left shoulder, I've got a John Michel Basque piece called Donuts Revenge. Okay. I've got the uh, women from the front of the Inutro record. I, have, I mean, they're really beautiful. Do you always use the same tattooist? Yeah, it's Kevin from... Uh, I'm going to give him a shout out for yeah, a tattoo. He he's a wonderful, wonderful guy and he does a really amazing work. And uh, he's done all, made all my tattoos. Yeah, so I've got my wife's lips here. As well. Oh, that is a very sweet one. I've got a two headed baby hiding in there, which is slightly oh, worrying. Uh, why, the, why the hell have you got a two headed baby? Why not? <laughs> why, <come laughs> but on, no, why true. Not? Um, that's from our, uh, that heart with the it's infinity sign above it is from our Infinity Land album. And, uh, we've all got quite a few Biffy tattoos, but yeah. Um, and recently, I've been going nuts on Da Vinci stuff. I love oh yeah all the sketches and okay. But it is kind of like I'm not putting it down. I think it's like kind of random scribblings, isn't it? It's yeah, that's that's what I like. That's what I'm, uh, perhaps might be about to draw on you. Yeah, some random okay. scribblings. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but yeah, I love I love work that's kind of incomplete. You know, so yeah. Um, so I tend to get tattoos that are of incomplete pieces of art. So it all kind of forms the story yep. of your life and, and it's yeah, all over your got, body. Okay, turning round. Okay, there's a puzzle, obviously, jigsaw puzzle piece. Yep. And uh, yeah. reference. another Da Vinci horse up here. Okay, that's I've on the paint, left shoulder. Painting that my mother did um, in the middle of my back. Wow. And uh, I've got some lyrics down here. Yeah, from so these say, keep on dreaming, boy, because when you stop dreaming, it's time to die. That's from... Yeah, it's from a band called Blind Mail and it's a, an amazing oh, yeah. lyricist called Shannon who knew actually died in 1994, just a month after Kurt Cobain and unfortunately no one noticed. Yeah, but, um, he was an amazing lyricist, and uh, you know, I just think that's good rule, good rules to live by. Yeah. Okay. And uh, turning around to the other side, yeah, what is yeah, that on your? You've got a bruise under your arm. What did, how did you get that? I don't know. Oh, that was from shooting a video the other day. Where we oh, <laughs> we I wanted getting, to talk about that. We were getting flung about in the on the video shoot. So yeah, I've got many bruises under my arms from getting lifted up. <laughs> okay. And uh, on your arm, then you um, on this arm. I have two thing, uh, two kind of pieces from a comic book called The Fountain, which was actually based on a movie by Darren Aronofsky and it's just one of the most beautiful movies in the world. It's about a guy that um, basically drinks from the tree of life and his, his wife dies and he's trying to find a way to, to die, basically. And, uh, mm. and in these last two shots, that's him finally passing away. So a bit grim, actually, for a, for a Wednesday morning. But <laughs> Bring us down, why don't you? it with a smile on my face. <laughs> and across your chest, you've got the lyrics. Yep, from the Beach Boys. God only knows what I'd be without you, which uh, was my first dance with my wife. So beautiful, beautiful song. And, wow. uh, and I've got a gun. <laughs> go, oh, like a, yeah, a going into the holster of your hip. A gun uh, with the Virgin Mary in it. And a uh, uh, Dali piece, Salvador Dali, the Christ of St. George and the Cross. I'm not at all religious, by the way, it's just a whole lot of fun. Okay. And uh, any of those that you regret? Have you ever had a tattoo that's gone wrong and you've thought... <sighs> no, no, I think, uh, you know, I think you just got to embrace it for what it is. You know, even my first tattoo, as I say, I didn't... Don't particularly love the band anymore, but the tattoo is really important to me. Because it's from your it, wife. Yeah, and it's from a, just a 
good time of be, being a grown up. <laughs> uh, excellent. All right. Um, and so I've, all, I've often thought about having a tattoo done. So I thought maybe with your scribblings and stuff like that, you could draw one on my shoulder and then maybe I could go and get that tattooed because people have done that. Have, have you had kind of that thing when you do autographs and people go and get it done? Yeah, I've had that a few times. It's uh, it's it's weird, you know, like you know, I wish I'd practiced writing a lot more when I was younger. But um, yes, yeah, it's, it's phenomenal when someone, you know, takes something that you just scribble in their skin and puts it there forever. Are you particularly artistic? Are you really, good, you know, quite artistic? No, arty? particularly artistic. But um, no, no, I'm not. That was way off. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not that. I'm not that. Are artistic. you just going to scribble on my skin? I think so. Yeah. Okay, right. Much. Have you got a pen? I, I, I've also. I'm going to use my left hand. I'm not left-handed. But <laughs> <laughs> no, right on my shoulder, the back of my shoulder. Okay, so right. you can draw something, and then maybe I'll. Is there um, anything particular you, you're going for? I don't want a. I don't want a dolphin. Okay. Right. I'm um, just, this is going to start as a random, and then it's going to reveal itself as all great pieces of art should. Okay. Is it going to be Da Vinci related or yeah. everyone else can see what you're doing and I can't at all? Yeah, this is it's going nowhere already. It's not going to be a smiley face like an acid. No, 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 it's definitely not. OK, it's we're doing this with a ballpoint pen, so I can actually wash it. Uh, yeah, while you, you scribble away, I'll play Coldplay and talk and then we'll come back and see exactly okay. what you've created on my shoulder. It tickles. <laughs> Hang on a minute, Stewie, describe what you can see, please, on my shoulder. Uh, it's a person's head kind of looking over your shoulder from the side of you. I don't know who it is. It looks good. Okay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Simon? He's a, he's a charmer. <laughs> he's an old school charmer. <laughs> I thought it was going to be much more kind of Luddite, much more basic, but it's kind of, a, it's, got, it's actually yeah, really quite, fairly quite artistic. Yeah, going quite avant-garde. <laughs> I guess it's quite a bit more surreal than real. Okay, so where did you say you get your tattoos done? Uh, Kevin at Tribe Tattoo, just off Great Western Road in Glasgow, What's Scotland. That? If Kevin is free a little bit later on this afternoon, I might go down there and get yeah. that kind of inked on me forever. <laughs> he, may, he may not allow himself to sink that low because I, I did the scribble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but then it's addictive, you say, after that. Very addictive, yeah, so be warned. Have you got another one planned? Do you know what your next tattoo is going to yes, be? Yes, I'm going to get, uh, there's this great sketch by Da Vinci again of himself drawing his own hands as he's I drawing. I the one, yeah. And uh, I'm going to get that up the, the back of my... Kind of, on your right arm. Yeah, because yeah, that's the, that's the bit that isn't kind of scribbled yeah, over at the moment. It's absolutely. <laughs> I know I don't have much space left, but uh, so I better pick wisely. Okay. Uh, and do you have any tattoos below the waist? Cause no, no. Okay, fine. So, right. so I, won't, I won't go any PG further. PG rated down there. <laughs>